Hello, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex took that new year, new me, saying to heart. The Sussexes were sick and tired of the bullying, racism, and sexism that Meghan had been experiencing at the hands of the British press since she and the prince were first engaged. 2019 was supposed to be one of the best years in the Duchess' life. Meghan and Prince Harry celebrated one year of marriage, and they welcomed their adorable son, Archie Harrison. Sadly, the constant bullying from the public and press as well as the prince's fallout with his older brother, Prince William made things extremely challenging. Now, the Duke and Duchess have made a drastic decision, changing their lives and the structure of the royal family forever. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are done being confined to royal life. From the Sussex's own candid admissions to the late Princess Diana's shocking revelations, life as a member of the British royal family is no fairy tale. It's also straining when the UK press and public refuse to allow you the space to be a human being. Same hand, my husband did the speeches, I did the handshaking. So basically we were a married couple doing the same job, which is very difficult for anyone. And, he, and more so if you've got all the attention on you. We struggled a bit with it, it was very difficult. And then my husband decided that we'd do separate engagements, um, which was a bit sad for me, because I quite liked the company. But there again, I didn't have the choice. So it wasn't at your request that you did that on your own? Not at all, no. After a rough 2019, Meghan and Prince Harry have had enough. On Jan 8, the Sussexes announced they would be stepping back as senior royals. They also revealed they would only be living in the UK part, time. After many months of reflection and internal discussions, we have chosen to make a transition this year in starting to carve out a progressive new role within this institution, the Sussexes said in a statement. We intend to step back as senior members of the royal family and work to become financially independent while continuing to fully support Her Majesty the Queen. It is with your encouragement, particularly over the last few years, that we feel prepared to make this adjustment. We now plan to balance our time between the United Kingdom and North America, continuing to honor our duty to the Queen, the Commonwealth, and our patronages. This is how Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will make money. Raking away from the royal family will allow the Duke and Duchess to make their own money. We doubt there will be any tell, all books or interviews. However, the duo has recently trademarked Sussex Royal, which will elevate their brand in new ways. We can certainly see books, speaking engagements, Netflix series, and other things on the horizon. Meghan has reportedly already signed a voiceover deal with Disney. Though this deal is an exchange for a contribution to Elephants Without Borders, other deals like this could line the Sussexes' pockets. Canada might pay for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's security bill. Since the pair have their own money, separate from the royal family, they certainly won't be living a destitute lifestyle. However, the major drain on their finances is their extensive security team. We would imagine that the UK taxpayers would continue to pay for the Sussexes' security when they are in the UK, but not for the other part of the year. Since Meghan and Prince Harry will be spending a good chunk of time in North America, a.k.a. Canada, it looks like the country might be preparing to pay for the Sussexes' security detail. Their security is one of the major issues that the Sussexes will have to contend with as modern and free royals. No, we haven't spent any time thinking about this issue, Bill Murnau, Canada's finance minister, told CBC reporters. We obviously are always looking to make sure, as a member of the Commonwealth, we play a role. We have not had any discussions on that subject at this time. We are sure the Sussexes will figure everything out in time. We 
Um, obviously, are um, always looking to make sure that as a member of the Commonwealth that we, uh, we play a role. Uh, we have uh, not had any discussions on that subject at this time. Security if they do indeed come to Canada. No, we haven't spent any time thinking about this issue. In other news, Meghan Markle has been spotted for the first time since Nexit, visiting a women's shelter after boarding a seaplane in Canada. A beaming Duchess of Sussex posed for a photo in North America after she and Prince Harry dropped a bombshell announcement they were quitting as royals. The charity visit only emerged after Charity Downtown East Side Women's Center shared a photo of the Duchess, writing on social media, Look who we had tea with today. The Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, visited us today to discuss issues affecting women in the community. Meghan can be seen wearing a white jumper with black trousers and boots, appearing calm and relaxed as she smiles at the camera. Vancouver's downtown east side is characterized by high levels of violence, homelessness, addiction, and poverty. The visit came as Prince Harry was locked in crisis talks with the Queen, Prince Charles and Prince William, with Her Majesty accepting the couple's decision to quit. Meghan was not involved in the summit at Sandringham, having flown back to North America last week, after returning to Britain for just three days. She had been expected to phone in for the crunch talks, but the palace later confirmed it wasn't necessary for her to join. And the Duchess was last night spotted, dressed in a large parka coat, as she boarded a seaplane from Vancouver Island to Vancouver. There was no sign of nine-month-old son Archie, who is believed to be with a nanny. She was escorted to the plane by a bodyguard. An airport source said, she didn't have to sit and wait with other passengers inside the terminal. The former actress had previously been reportedly spotted driving around Vancouver Island, now preparing to greet Harry back in Canada later this week. Harry is expected to fly to be with her and baby, Archie, after appearing at the Rugby League World Cup draw on Thursday. On Monday, Harry met the Queen, Prince Charles and Prince William for crunch talks at Sandringham about the couple's exit from the royal family. The pair spent six weeks on holiday in Canada at the end of last year and want to be based there permanently after securing Megxit. During Meghan's brief stint back in Britain, she and Prince Harry dropped a bombshell statement announcing they would be quitting full-time royal duties. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex got their way at the royal family's crisis summit, but the Queen made it plain she is deeply upset they are quitting. After the Sandringham talks, Her Majesty released a statement saying the couple will be allowed to step down from their duties and spend time in Canada. But she said, although we would have preferred them to remain full-time working members of the royal family, we respect and understand their wish to live a more independent life. Harry flew back to the UK for the crisis summit, while Meghan waited at the couple's $18 million Vancouver mansion during the talks. The prince is expected to fly back to his wife and baby Archie this week at the plush Canadian pad where they spent their extended Christmas break, although a riddle over who actually owns it has deepened as a controversial mining tycoon denied it was his. Meghan and Harry, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, also making headlines today. The Queen confirms that they will spend part of their time, at least in this transition period, in Canada. Has the Canadian government been involved in negotiating that and helping uh, make that happen? Uh, we haven't uh, up until this point, not in any real way, but uh, there will be many discussions to come on on how that works uh, that will that will go about between officials at different levels. So because they are royals, your government would play some role, right, in them coming if they come here? Uh, indeed, indeed. Yeah. But there's, there's still a lot of decisions to be taken by the royal family, by the Sussexes themselves, as to uh, what level of engagement they choose to have and uh, these are things that we are, are obviously supportive of their reflections but uh, have uh, have responsibilities in that as well. Are we going to pay 
the security costs on the thing here? That is part of the reflection that needs to be needs to be had, and and there are discussions going on. So we're not sure yet about where all that will land. We're not entirely sure what the final decisions will be, where the dispositions are, and those are those are decisions for them. Uh, I think uh, most Canadians are very supportive of of having uh, having you know, royals be here, but uh, how that looks and what kind of costs is involved, there's still lots of discussions to have. Yeah. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell. If you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.